Hello, welcome to Secrets of the Stones. Today we're talking about tourmaline. Tourmaline is the name for a group of stones that share a broad chemical composition. Its formula is sodium, lithium, aluminum, borosilicate, hydroxide. A boron silicate, tourmaline, may, can, may also contain traces of aluminum, iron, magnesium, sodium, lithium, or potassium. The stones used for therapeutic effects are gemstone quality and are known as albate. And as you can see, they come in a variety of colors. Tourmaline grows in a trigonal structure, but often appears hexagonal when it is found in nature. As you can see in the diagram below, the cross section is um, triangles pointed inward, but the outer structure looks like a hexagon. In relation to the cycle of the five elements, its trigonal structure represents the transformation of wood into fire as seen in the generating cycle above, where wood generates fire. In ancient times, acupuncturists used tourmaline crystals as needles. They were one of the first types of needles to be developed. Its ancient name was Da Chi Shi, electrical chi rock. This stone has pyroelectric and piezoelectric effects which means it generates an electrical charge when it is exposed to heat or pressure. Tourmaline is very active and is capable of commanding the chi and resources of the body. Crystals that have terminated ends or pointed ends have a strong effect at moving chi. Tourmaline increases the ability to tolerate negativity in the world or in relationships. It has a warming nature and stimulates the de defensive Wei Qi, which is the outer Qi that protects our bodies from pathogens. By stimulating the defensive Wei Qi, tourmaline improves communication with the external environment. As a ring silicate, this stone is able to draw stagnant energy and poisons from the constitutional level. It is protective against wind, radiation, and poisoning from food, heavy metals, or people. The stone is generally more effective when it is placed distally on the hands or feet. Placing it in these areas allows it to move qi from the deeper source yuan level to the exterior defensive wei level. Tourmaline primarily affects the deeper aspect of the kidney and bladder channels, or the divergent channels, where pathologies are held to, in the body to be expelled later. Knowledge of these channels reflects an understanding of the lymphatic system by practitioners of ancient medicine. The, very, the various colors specifically target other divergent meridians, the exception being the lung and triple energizer divergent channels pictured above. At this level of illness, the person might lack the strength needed to bring pathology to the exterior. All colors of tourmaline move chi along the bladder and kidney channels, but black tourmaline is the most appropriate for this region. Black being the color associated with the water element and the kidney and bladder channels being water channels. Yellow tourmaline affects the divergent channels of the spleen and stomach. Pictured above on the left and right, the spleen and stomach channels are associated with the earth element, and yellow is the color associated with earth. Green tourmaline affects the divergent channels of the liver and gallbladder, 
The liver is on the left and the gallbladder is on the right. These are the wood channels and green is the color that resonates with the wood element. Red and pink tourmaline affect the divergent channels of the heart and small intestine, pictured above on the left and right. Tourmaline has an affinity for the front mood points, which are areas of accumulation located on the front of the body, near our internal organs. These points are used to treat chronic conditions in the organs themselves. So here is a bigger picture of the lung. Um, of the front mood points, starting with the lung, at the um, on the ch on the chest, and as you could see, there are many conditions that they treat. So the lung point would treat bronchitis. The pericardium, which wraps the heart, will treat anxiety. The heart point will treat heart conditions. The liver point is good for liver conditions and stagnation or stress, irritability. The gallbladder point is beneficial for gallstones. The kidney point is beneficial for kidney stones or prostatitis. The stomach point is beneficial for gastritis. The spleen point benefits diabetes. The large intestine point benefits constipation. The triple energizer point treats dryness because the triple energizer moves chi throughout the body. The small intestine point treats colitis or irritable bowel syndrome. And the bladder point is beneficial for difficult or painful urination. The various colors of tourmaline can be placed on the seven chakras along with the corresponding stone of a similar shape to enhance the treatment. So today I'm focusing on black tourmaline because there are so many colors and black tourmaline is the strongest. It is given the name penetrating the field stone, referring to the fact that it penetrates the lower dantian or elixir, elixir field to change the essence or gene which is stored in the kidneys. The black color also absorbs light and is useful during the winter months for alleviating seasonal affective disorder. Because of its strong association with the kidneys, it can be used to work on ancestral issues. Black tourmaline strongly stimulates the warming expense of yang qi and has the closest relationship to the, to the defensive wei qi. It is the best choice for removing toxins. And to do this, it utilizes the pathways of the lung and kidney channels pictured above. The kidney is on the left and the lung is on the right. These are the divergent channels, the deeper channels associated with these meridians. The stone directs pathologies out of the deeper source level, which is the level of the DNA, to allow for cellular repair. It is beneficial for expelling internal or external pathogens, such as environmental toxins, heavy metals, mercury, electromagnetic radiation, or infections that have caused damage to the DNA or essence. Black tourmaline strengthens the chi of the lungs and the heart and is beneficial for cold hands or neuropathy. It is warming and breaks up accumulations of cold that can cause pain such as in gout or arthritis. And it breaks up blockages in the front mood points, especially in the heart, liver, and stomach points. Black tourmaline is useful when working through fear. It helps people who feel vulnerable in their environment or who feel fearful of the people around them. It opens the third eye chakra and is beneficial for absorbing divine light into the brain. It can be used during any treatment that's intended to balance the chakras. Black tourmaline is a stone of wisdom and it offers the wisdom of finding oneself.
It also protects against curses and black magic by absorbing and repelling negativity. It improves vision and protects the wearer, especially while engaging in astral projection or psychic development and channeling. So how can black tourmaline be used? Well, with its trigonal crystal structure, symbolizing wood, generating fire, this stone has an affinity for the yin wood and yin fire temperament. It is a beneficial stone for the wood type and is especially appropriate for people who resist their wood qualities or, in other words, do not want to be in charge or be responsible. It can be placed on the spine to stimulate the kidney yang chi in its relationship to the unfolding of the tree of life pictured above. As you can see, the kidneys are the basis for the chi of the entire body. This placement influences the dynamics of the triple energizer meridian, which moves chi throughout the body. It can be held in the hands and placed under the feet in a stone layout to help expel wind to the exterior. Wind can mean many things. It can mean um, allergies, headache, headaches when there's internal wind from the liver channel, which rises up and affects the head. And in severe cases, wind can cause migraines or convulsions or seizures. In powdered form, tourmaline emits strong infrared waves. So the finer the particle, the um, stronger the waves. And placing powdered tourmaline on areas of pain is beneficial for treating shingles and for healing um, burns or other injuries that leave scars. You can wear a black tourmaline amulet to feel protected and secure. The stone can be placed next to a computer to divert electro electromagnetic radiation away from the body. It can be placed on the third eye for two or three minutes. This is said to have a gradual but potent effect of bringing the divine light into the mind. So a word of caution, black tourmaline is not for everyone. It is very strong and can cause a healing crisis. It is not really recommended to place it on the abdomen, but rather distally. It is not indicated for those who do not sweat very easily or who have problems losing weight. Um, it's not beneficial for people who don't have enough fluids, which is indicated by a lack of tongue coating. I'm sorry, I misspoke. It can be placed on the abdomen. It, but it will cause a healing crisis. The elixir should only be used for a short time, less than five days. And to make an elixir, you can um, go to how to make an elixir on my um, slideshow, the foundations. The elixir is protective for um, when someone is going um, undergoing radiation therapy because it detoxifies the body and may be beneficial for auto autoimmune disease. This statement has not been evaluated by the FDA. It is merely a, um, a principle set forth in um, this stone medicine book. Tourmaline water is beneficial for protecting against and clearing radiation from the body and can be used while traveling and encountering um, unknown sources of radiation to protect against it. It should be cleansed twice a month or once a week, depending on how often it is used. To cleanse, you can place it under running water and then recharge it by setting it close to an amethyst or clear quartz crystal. You should avoid placing tourmaline in the sun. And here we have some examples of tourmaline. 